Good afternoon, I'm Sage. You are watching Kalkine TV live from Sydney and this is The Buzzing Trends. The Australian stock market opened flat on Monday despite strong positive leads from the Wall Street on Friday. The S&P 200 is down by only two points today and is at 7,058.70. That was current at Australian Eastern Standard Time, 11.38 this morning. The US stock rallied on Friday after a sell-off on Thursday when the President Joe Biden announced to almost double the capital tax gain. Rally on Friday was headed by mega cap stocks on anticipation on strong earnings reports in this week. The earning report of following few companies is expected between Tuesday to Thursday. Microsoft, Alphabet, Facebook, Amazon and Apple to name a few. The financial sector is performing best till now of the total four sectors which are in the green. The remaining eight are trading low today and that was current at 11.38am Australian Eastern Standard Time. And on that note, let's have a look at some important news in detail. Another sign of worsening of the bilateral relationship between Australia and China. Clearance of Australian table grapes is experiencing delays in Chinese ports. From almost the last three weeks, more than 400 to 500 containers are taking about 5 to 10 days longer to get clearance, even though the fruit is not getting rotted as it's in cold storage, but the shipments are being transferred from one port to another to avoid delays and the cost for this movement is to be borne by the Australian farmers. Relationships between the two countries soared or soured last year after Canberra accused China of interfering in domestic affairs and it was worsened when the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison requested an independent inquiry on the origin of coronavirus. Until last year, China has been the biggest buyer of Australian table grapes with about 40% of its exports. And looking at the current situation, things don't seem to be any time ready for a U-turn towards any improvement. Another not that great news for Australia is the fall in the world ranking of their universities. Only two Australian universities could make up to the top 100 this year as compared to the four last year as per the report submitted by the Centre for World University Rankings 2020 to 2021. Another five are in the top 200 whereas this number was at eight last year. Chinese universities are ranking above Australia because of which Chinese students may now not find Australia lucrative enough for stay and study. The top five universities, Harvard, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Stanford, Cambridge and Oxford maintained their position in 2020. And moving on, Temple and Webster's an online homewares and furniture retailer saw a massive high in its stock price during COVID-19's pandemic due to the shift in the shopping structure of buyers. The company was once declared as the worst IPO of 2016 as it saw a decline of about 85% since its listing in December 2015. The homewares and furniture takes a good chunk of one's money. So the big question still remains, will the buyers be confident to churn out such sums without physical trial? The market is improving, but Australia still has to go a long way. And finally, Peter Warren Automotive is scheduled to be listed on the ASX tomorrow after raising 260 million Australian dollars at 2.90 Australian dollars per share in a float, valuing the company at 483 million Australian dollars. The company sells 27 different brands across its network, with out 35% of the sales coming from Hyundai. Ford, Kia and Suzuki. Chief Executive Mark Weaver said listing on ASX will not change the company's string culture of 63 years. <clears throat> and now on to some breaking news for the day. One million new COVID cases have been reported in India over the last three days. The world is coming together in financial aid for the developing economy and medical supplies to help flatten the curve as it spirals out of control in the second most populous country. 
And moving on to the next news from Armenia, the Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has made a surprise announcement of resignation in an aim to defuse the violence sparked with the neighbouring country Azerbaijan from last year. He will remain in interim duties until a formal election will occur on June 20th. And now on happier news, the much-awaited Hong Kong and Singapore travel bubble will soon start with the date of May 26th, set by the officials of the Asian business centres. And some news from America. In the entertainment scene, Chloe Zhao is the first ever Chinese woman to be awarded the coveted Best Director Oscar. And in 93 years of the Academy Awards, she is the second woman ever to win the prize. Her film, Nomadland, was awarded. And the 39-year-old's third feature film has not been granted a release date from a homeland China yet. And thank you for your time watching. That is all for now. But do keep watching Kalkine TV as we bring you the latest news and trending market updates live from Sydney. This is Sage signing off.